guys, good morning. It's Saturday morning and I'm starting my day a little bit different today. I took my time getting up, I cuddled the monster over there and I'm going to go hit legs today. So I'm gonna try eating before I go to see how it goes. I usually don't eat before I train, but I usually get up and go and I didn't get going as quickly this morning. So I kind of just wanna put some fuel in me and have some coffee. And I've been craving this breakfast, so you guys saw me do the Special K Red Berry cereal with a scoop of protein in my cashew milk, and I threw some banana in there. And then I love having my Nespresso on the weekend. So I'm going to enjoy this for a hit legs. A little tip for people that are struggling to get their protein in at breakfast. I know it's easy to get bored with breakfast, People don't want to eat eggs every day, but you want to get in your protein. I love a good bowl of cereal. So an easy way to do it is what I just did here. Take your protein shake. Make up a good protein shake. The vanilla ice cream um, MTS Isolate works excellent. I did a full scoop of that in the cashew milk. Or I also love the MTS Blueberry Muffin. You shake it up in a protein shake. You throw that into your cereal. And there you go, you've got your balanced meal with your protein. This gives you 25 grams of protein. There you go. And now I don't have to have like eggs or something like that sitting in my stomach when I go work out. Wick off date, been lounging around for a bit. Jason and I are actually gonna head downtown Syracuse to do a mini photo shoot. Now, I know many of you, your boyfriends or significant others probably get tired of taking pictures of you for Instagram and things like that. But Jason actually loves taking photos. He's having a blast kind of up in his editing game skills with photography and filmography. So it works to my benefit. So I've gathered up a ton of clothes, especially since Heidi gave me a bunch of clothes when I was down there. We're gonna do a little, little mini photo shoot. It's been a rainy day, but the rain stopped. So now it's just cloudy which apparently Jason says is really great for photos. Post-workout, I just had a quick bag of my new favorite. This is not sponsored, but I do have to share with you guys because apparently Quest doesn't like advertise their new products. I don't really know what's going on with them and their advertising team, but I guess they came out with tortilla, tor tortilla style protein chips with nacho, fl nacho fleas. Nacho fleas. I can't talk. Nacho cheese and ranch, and they are very good. Here's the macros. They are more than very good. They are my favorite. So if anyone's a chip eater and needing some chippies without killing your macros, although these are still five, six grams of fat in a serving, but you do get 18 grams of protein from it. So quick little chip snacker. This is what I, they're titties. That's what I had post leg workout. Um, they're very tasty and I don't know why they're not advertising them and I don't know where to tell you to buy them because we bought them at a local supplement shop which is local to us. So I don't really know where to tell you guys to go get them but trust me, worth it, super good. And these are all the clothes that I'm bringing. Springy-ish colors. Photo shoot time. Photo shoot time. Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! 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 whoop. What's up guys, today is Sunday. I didn't vlog for you anymore yesterday. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage from the little photo shoot Jason and I did. Uh, we actually both had a lot of fun doing it. It's just kind of fun when you take that different perspective of like what's surrounding you that would make like for a good picture. You kind of recognize the world's beauty a little bit differently, as lame as that sounds, but we had a good time. It was nice that the weather finally cleared up. We got outside. We enjoyed it and Jason has like a really good eye for stuff and I'll be like no that's not gonna work or that's gonna look stupid and then it ends up looking good. <laughs> So that was a lot of fun. Um, I just finished my workout, hence this gorgeousness. Uh, and it's another rainy day here in Syracuse, but I think I'm going to hit the store up as I'm heading home. We're gonna do a recipe for Tiger Fitness and then 
I also want to pick up a few groceries too so I'm just deciding where I want to stop because I have all these right next to me but I don't know if I could get everything that I want there and I really don't feel like making 500 trips so I might just go to tops we will see but I'm gonna grab some some more groceries for the work week so I can get some things prepped and in the fridge and ready to go so I'm not just choosing the quickest thing. I need to actually get some prepping done. So that is on the agenda today. And that's, that's it. I'll see you when I get home. Wow oh guys, that is such a good deal. Buy two, get three free. Back home, I'm gonna show you guys what I grabbed. I'd say really quick, but I spend way too long in the grocery store so it wasn't that quick. But I took advantage of that awesome deal. Buy two, get three free. Like, how do you beat that? So I got two things of strawberries, kiwi, and two blackberries. Grabbed some of this PB and Co peanut butter powder in vanilla. This one's really good. I sometimes like to sprinkle that on my Pervitum brownie bowl. Grab some Greek yogurt. I cannot find fresh wild caught salmon yet. It's not where I live, so I got some frozen salmon. Also grab some 95% lean beef. And I showed these on my Insta story the, this week and these were so good, so worth it. If you guys can find this, bison steak medallions and look at these macros. Six ounces, only two and a half fat, zero carbs and 37 protein. And these tasted awesome when I got my cooking process down. So, so good. Had one of those last night. Grab some mango salsa for a nice little addition to the salmon. And then for veggies, I grabbed this already cut up one that's got a nice little assortment in there. I can air fry or roast. Grab some green beans to air fry. A couple bell peppers. Spring mix was bad one, get one free. Grab some little... No, those aren't little, but golden potatoes. These are easy to steam them up. Have them for the week. A couple packets of tuna. I like having these on hand for when I don't feel like, when I'm like lazy with my protein, this is like super quick to whip up. With some light Miracle Whip is my fave. And then grab some creamy roasted garlic dressing because I buy dressing every single time I go to the grocery store. Don't come at me for it. It's what I do. Condiment hoarder. Bruce, let's go. Oh. Jeez, dude. You can stay. Where are you going? You're leaving the video. All right, guys, I realize this vlog has been a bit sporadic. I didn't really have a theme planned for this weekend's vlog. And I feel like I haven't been as like inspired by vlogging lately. I don't know if it's cause like, I've just been really focusing on what keeps me like, keeps my stress levels lower and managed, especially with like the increase in personal stress that Jason and I have been having. I have found it harder to be super like motivated by vlogging or even in my social media posts and stuff like that. I felt like I needed to take a little step back and just not worry so much about how great my content was, although it's important to me. Like, the past few weekends have just been super relaxing, and sometimes when I vlog, I feel like I need to be out and about doing 80 million things because I think maybe that's what you guys want to see or that's what makes more interesting videos than me just, like, sitting around at my house all day with my dog. <laughs> So, but the last few weekends have been a bit more relaxed, like, I just need to slow down sometimes and, like, take one thing at a time and just be able to, like, enjoy what I'm doing. And sometimes I don't do that if I'm, like, vlogging all day because then I'm thinking about, you know, what makes the best for video, if that makes sense. So anyways, I'm just saying that because... Number one, I haven't been vlogging as much. Um, number two, I have found some peace with doing that, with just kind of not putting as much pressure on myself with doing that. I've been able to have like low-key, like really relaxing weekends, and 
I'm a homebody and that's what I need, especially like during the work week. I am just out and about and go, 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 go nonstop until nine o'clock at night, which for me is late if I get up early. So these weekends are really important for me and I found they've helped me really reset. They've helped me go into my work week feeling less stressed, not struggling with as much anxiety. This past week I slept so epic. Like I just got such good sleep, which makes such a difference in my mood and everything really. My mood, my personality, I guess that's my mood, my energy, my workouts, like you name it. It makes such a difference. So that was really, really great. Yeah, I guess I'm just giving you like a general update right now. I do plan to be blogging more, but I'm also just finding that balance with like taking time away from it and just like appreciating other things without needing the camera on or without needing to take pictures and all that kind of stuff. The I did want to mention really quick, my cut is still going on. Hashtag the world's longest cut over here. But I was thinking about it and I'm actually going in eight weeks. We're eight weeks out now from Real Weights for Real Heroes for the Semper Fi Fun. That's going to be the second year that Mark's doing this and it's going to be in like right outside New York City, I think. Mark's got some stuff on Instagram and we can post more information here but I'm gonna be going to that with Jason and that's gonna be a really cool event and like I said it's eight weeks out that puts us mid-July and I really want to be just like you know tighten it up a little bit more be a little bit more more fit for the event so that's kind of my goal I feel like I've been a little bit stagnant just because after being sick and stuff I was pretty um, patient with myself, getting back on track, you know, getting back to tracking macros and eating healthy and and feeling healthy again. So now that I'm finally feeling like 100%, like I can do what I need to do in the gym and with my nutrition, I'm ready to just kind of crush it and, and hopefully just keep working towards my full potential. And, you know, I'm going to use that as like just like a little mini deadline for myself to keep pushing a little bit harder the next eight weeks and see what I can achieve. So, yes, I am still cutting. But at the same time, like when I say that, you guys, I'm not like killing myself with a diet. Like this is kind of like my normal lifestyle right here. Um, I'm very happy with things are at. I don't hate my body. So it's, you know, I'm in a really good place. But I also know I'm not working to my potential and I don't feel like I'm utilizing my time wisely in the gym. So I'm reassessing that in terms of training plan, game plan with training and cardio. I need to nail down and I just want to have like a one set routine for the next eight weeks. So if I nail that down, I'll share it with you guys. If you're anything like me, I'm right now going into the gym and kind of deciding on my workout when I get in there, which isn't always ideal. So um, we're going to get that nailed down and I'm going to give it the next eight weeks to kind of keep, keep the cut going and then we'll go from there. So, um, I'm going to end this video here. Let me know what more you guys want to see and I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the little, uh, epic B-roll footage that Jason got. That was really cool from um, our little downtown shenanigans. We had a lot of fun, just kind of like taking random pictures everywhere downtown. It's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to continue to enjoy this peaceful view. My backyard. I used to hate the birds chirping when I was a kid. They used to annoy the piss out of me. And now that I'm like older and like all about like the chill lifestyle, like what de-stresses me. Listening to those birds chirp makes me rather happy. And so does Bruce's snores. His snores are like my ultimate like relaxation, puts me to sleep. They are the best. But that's gonna be it. Dog's eating grass. I don't know why, he just does it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.